in any healthy church, there are going to be, and listen, underline that, healthy church. In every healthy church, there are going to be people that are at different stages in their faith journey. There's gonna be those in, in any healthy church, in a healthy church that, that are brand new converts. Man, this, this is something completely new to them. They're a new creation in Christ Jesus. They're just beginning the journey and the pursuit of following after Him. They don't know everything that you know if you've been at it 20, 30 years. In fact, for the new convert, their life may look very much like their former life that they had just a couple of days ago. And now here's the pompous, high and mighty church member. Well, they must not be a Christian. Well, no, thank goodness they probably are. But in every healthy church, there, there are people that are at different life stages, different places on the journey of faith. That's a healthy congregation. An unhealthy congregation looks homogenous. Everybody looks the same. You show me a church where every faith looks alike, you, you show me a faith, you show me a church where there's the same socio, socioeconomic group, where there's the same ethnicity, I will show you an unhealthy dying church. One of the things I love about our church, what separates us as a downtown First Baptist Church, and listen, downtown First Baptist churches are dying across this country. But what I love about our church is that this is a church where broken people feel welcome. This is a church where broken people feel received. This is the kind of church where broken people from all walks of life, all socioeconomic backgrounds, all ethnicities, all life experiences, they can come to this place and they can be received. And they can begin to grow and pursue this chase of following after the Lord Jesus Christ and do it in a context of grace, mercy, love. People that will embrace you where you are and begin walking with you along the journey. Now you want me to tell you who's uncomfortable in a church like this? Religious people. Religious people are real uncomfortable church like this. Religious people, they, they don't like that kind of diversity. They don't, they don't like, that, they don't like that, that, that kind of melting pot. Religious people, they, they really like a homogenous type of group to be a part of. You remember one of the indictments that Jesus had in that famous woe passage in Matthew chapter 23, one of his indictments against the religious leaders, the religious crowd? Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, verse 15. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because you travel, you travel around on sea and land to make one proselyte. That is somebody that looks like you. Those are the ones that you will receive. You'll travel around sea and land to make one proselyte, and when he becomes one, you make him twice as much a son of hell as yourselves. You've actually become a stumbling block to those that are actually interested in things of God, trying to figure out what that looks like and how that applies to their life. So I hope, I hope it underscores for us the need that among us, patience, patience is expected because we have such a melting pot in our church family of people from all walks of life, different stages in their faith journey. And as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. I love having new believers around me. I love, I love having those young believers that are just, they're trying to figure out what this follow me looks like. Just the vibrancy, the excitement, the newness of that pursuit that we all need to be reminded of on a daily basis.